the first question says, what does your username mean? Well, my username is actually my um, last name and my actual middle name because I thought it would be a little more easier for you guys to pronounce and understand and be a little more closer to me. <laughs> but um, that's not my real name, guys, okay? All right, so the next question, what are your goals for YouTube? So my goal for YouTube is to um, entertain you guys as well as to also have conversations with you guys as you guys um, may know. If you haven't checked it out and you're new to the channel, please check out my Real Talk session. It's where I usually talk about a topic and like I, I would just like to um, tell you guys different things of things that I've learned, that I'm thinking about, that I've been working on and how has it worked for me and things like that. And just to um, encourage you a little more to be a little more closer to God every day and things like that and a lot few more. But for now, that's just the main goal. Let's see where it goes. And yeah, I'm so excited for you to join me and don't forget to share with your friends and join me on the show. One of you guys asked me, what was your biggest challenge you had to overcome in life? Unfortunately, I will have to make that a story time <laughs> because I have a lot. I wouldn't be able to choose one. I mean, I believe that every day for me is a challenge because I have to make decisions on whether to go forward or back up and quit in life. Basically, every day is a challenge for me. Comment down below if you guys want to know what was the big challenge that I had to overcome and I will tell you guys in another video. Who inspired you to be the person you became today? I had a lot of influence. <laughs> in being who I am today. But one of those main ones are my mom. She is the most beautiful person ever. She understands me, forgives me, and just loves me. And my dad, honestly. My dad is one of the people that has inspired me to be who I am. And he's so wonderful and so forgiving. He's just amazing my parents are mostly what inspire me to be and become who i am today based on what they have been through in their life and the way it affected me in such a great energy and positive way that you can possibly imagine and i think those are the ones that have really inspired me to become who i am today what is a gold you are working towards okay to inspire more people and to encourage more people because i do love to listen to people why not reach just more than my friends and you guys and make you guys my friend and just reach a more broad um audience to encourage so yeah that's the goal that i am working towards all of my friends can tell you that i am just like that i love listening to people i love giving them a word of encouragement and things like that who drove you crazy in elementary school <laughs> um there was um probably two to three people that drove me crazy but the one that drove me crazy the most he's actually a friend of mine currently <laughs> and it's so funny because before we were we were friends we were getting to know each other and i remember that i didn't in elementary school i didn't like him and i didn't want to talk to me because i knew he was talking to me because he liked my friend my best friend <laughs> and he will bother us so much he will always bother us like just pinching punching pushing <laughs> you know like those type of elementary school back in the days where <laughs> And he would just talk so much and it would just be so aggravating because you know I was like the um the chubby little girl the shy girl who don't talk to nobody and then I'm over here like 
why is this boy talking like i know he's not talking to me because he wants to be friends because he wants to talk to my friend and i'm so yeah but i think he drove me crazier the most is because he was always just constantly there you know like one of those when mosquitoes are always in your ear it was like that he was, he was just like always like in your ear and never stopped and he was always like so how you doing how are you oh my goodness no, no. he was like so hyper and so energetic and right now he is he is my friend and i actually do love him so much so shout out to you alex for asking me who drove you crazy in the elementary school it was you <laughs> because you were just so energetic and so hyper i did not know what to do with you but i love you so thanks very much for asking me <laughs> also one of you guys asked me and i find this one funny how is that that you're so beautiful Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Actually, I do know. How is it that I'm so beautiful? It's because God created me fearfully and wonderfully made, and I am His masterpiece. That's why I'm beautiful. Okay. But you're beautiful too, okay? You're beautiful. I love you too, okay? You're beautiful. And a lot of you surprisingly wanted to know why I'm single. Because I just haven't found the right person and I'm not really looking for the person either way. So they're like, that person is like all the way in South Africa. Well, I'm all the way in North Asia. I guess somewhere, somewhere in a in God's time, we will, we will come across each other and meet, you know? Or maybe I probably met him and, you know, I'm just so fixed in something else and so focused on, on other things that, um, you know, I haven't noticed that he had the sign of, hey, I'm your future husband. So, yeah. Um, honestly, my watch is telling me no time for that. Who's your favorite person? And I feel like I'm going to get shot by this through the screen <laughs> if I answer this question, man. Um, I have too many favorite people. I'm sorry. I know that doesn't sound that much loyalty, but I do. Okay, I'm Zoe. I have a lot of favorite people. It's not because I, I don't have a loyal friend or I'm not loyal and I don't stick to one. No, I just love everyone, honestly. I guess what they were trying to say, like, who do I go to the most or something like that? I mean, I'm, I can't really answer that because I kind of have like a list of favorite person. That was like so badly grabbered English, but anyway. So I have a lot of people that I that are my favorite, but they're not really my favorite. It's just like my closest people. So yeah, I, I can't answer who's my favorite favorite because I don't really have a favorite favorite. The ones that are on that list, they're my favorite favorite people. So I can't really choose one on top of the other because they're just all in a line like this. They don't go like this. They go like that. They're all equal the same to me and I all and I do truly love them all like brother and sister so yes and last but not least someone um, asked me if I could do a eyebrow tutorial or makeup tutorial and I don't know I mean I'm not really a makeup person but if you guys want to see that you guys can let me know and I will probably have a little surprise for you. Say I, I never felt this love. Say I, I didn't have enough.